Hello. Welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, I don't know if you guys follow my Instagram or not, but I have been doing um, kind of like a little challenge to myself um, to watercolor slash doodle um, or watercolor my doodles uh, um, every day. And I got, oh, come on. I got a little prompt list from online. Um, Zergot gave me this idea to just, because I was like, man, I want to do it, but I don't know what I want to doodle. I don't know what I want to work on or anything like that. She was like, just get a, get a list from the internet. So I did. So I've done these three, as you can see, acorns. This is my happy October. Um, I didn't write the words I was going to, and then I decided, eh, um, falling leaves. I'm happy with this side of it, not this side of it. Um, I used the Jasper Stardust um, watercolors, and they act differently, just a little bit, because they are handmade than, you know, like my Mission Gold, or um, let's see, I've got some M. Graham, some Daniel Smith, so it acts differently. This one we're doing is Let's Go Camping. So you see I've already got a circle drawn. I just used my handy dandy little thing, put my pencil in, and just drew, drew a circle. This circle will be um, color or lined. I want, there we go, there's my 08. There we go. I want a nice thick outline. Um, I could probably take the circle thingy, but I don't remember um, which one I added on. Plus, it's supposed to be doodle, not precise. So these are the master fine liners. They are waterproof. So I'm using. I really want a thicker line. I'll have to go around with something else. Oh, nose itch. Um. I hope you guys don't mind hanging with me while I I doodle and whatnot. Um, I'm working on my skills. I really want to get better at stuff like this because um, it, it really makes me happy. You know, if it makes you happy, you should do it. Um, and I use the same type of circle thing for the this one. And I actually used it to do the circle, was it this one? No, I used a bigger one. But what I'm using is a block of Arches Hot Pressed. I prefer the Hot Pressed. It's much smoother than the Cold press. Um, it's 30 gram or 140 pound paper, 30 gram. Um, this block is seven inches by 10 inches. It is pure cotton uh, and there are 20 sheets. I'm currently only using the first sheet. You can see there's a little slit right here and then I just, when I'm done, I just cut out the sheet. And then I'll cut out each of these little things um, and do something with them. Either paste them on a card to send to family or something. The other thing I have is a flower petal paint pan thingy. It is stained. It's a cheap plastic. I mean, I think I paid a dollar fifty for it. Um, it is thicker plastic than some of the other ones. I like this. I can get a lot of wash in here if I absolutely need to. Again, you saw me use the micro lines. I have the master. Um, I have the master, I have microline, and then I will also be using um, my Micron Pigma uh, 005. I have a kneadable eraser, which I've used several times because I made um, different size lines that I didn't actually want. I was trying to figure out my size. Um, I have a collapsible cup by Faber-Castell with some water. I have a paint towel. 
It's going to go off to the side here. That's going over that way. I have some uh, paint brushes here. I have the number two silver black velvet, the number four silver black velvet, the number eight, and the number 12. I don't know that I'll need the 12. The 12 might be a little big, but I'm thinking for like the background wash. And then I have a 5-0, just cheap. I think this is made out of wood. I got it from Michaels. It's an extremely fine point for any detail work that I want to do. And I've limited my palette. So I've limited it to M. Graham Neutral Tint, Daniel Smith Lunar Blue, which is that cool blue black, Van Dyke Brown by Mission Gold, and Van Dyke Green by Mission Gold. And this is a really cool color. Um, let me get my swatch chart. It's this color, which is kind of like an evergreeny color. Um, and I really dig it. So it's this, 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 and this. So really close to each other, really I'm going for nice like neutral tones. And then the other thing I have is my point, uh, .5 Zebra pencil, retractable pencil. It has a nice little tip on it there. That's not even the pencil tip. That's just the metal tip. So let me squeeze my paint out. I don't know that the neutral tint will be used for, let me make sure it's clean. Yep. I don't know that the neutral tint will be used for anything other than tinting, but we'll see. A little dab there. Do the lunar blue next. I like M. Graham and Daniel Smith. Uh, the Mission Gold has been really good, um, but I kind of want to like go up to a finer, I'm actually going to put the green over here because I have a feeling I'm going to mix it with neutral tint a lot. So that's the Van Dyke green, and then the Van Dyke brown. But yeah, the Mission Gold's been pretty good. Um, I do want to up my quality though of paints. Um, what's fun is the M. Graham is a really good paint and it's twice the size of the Daniel Smith for roughly the same price. Um, I think I paid seven dollars for each of these. Daniel Smith is not cheap. Neither is M. Graham, but I can get them in like sets so I can get a quinacridone set or a neutral set or a whatever set. So I might look into that. So I've got my paint ready. It's going off to the side here and I'm turning it so that all of the colors are right here facing my drawing. All right, so let's zoom in here and let's get to drawing. Put those off to the side. I'm trying to keep you guys right in here. So the idea I have is there's going to be in the background a um, mountain. So let's let's do horizon or not horizon. Um, let's do. Just kind of the base of the campground, right about here. Um, so then we're going to have our tent. Let's do the tent off to the side. We've got our tent. Hmm. I'm not very good at drawing. Please bear with me. So. Let's bring it down more. 
lines really come down. So we're just going to have a side view of the tent. Kind of want like a little fire pit thingy. And then there will be trees. Big, big evergreens, big trees. So we're going to do an evergreen here, evergreen here. But I want in the background to be kind of like a mountain. So that's really, really, really rough sketch, okay? Um, Super rough sketch. There's not gonna be the grass line there. Let's just keep it at that. We'll have three trees, a mountain, and a campsite. Let's try to keep it a little simple here. So I want to put in a little bit of the background. I'm going to go through and just lightly rub a, a few of these lines out because I don't, I don't want them. But what I do want let's do the mountain first. No, too small. Let's take um, the number eight and get it wet. What color mountain do I want? I want to go. I want to go a little of the lunar blue and some neutral tint, with a little bit of the brown. really light wash. We're just going to take and make the mountain. Make it jagged, make it move and we're going to bring that down Let's get some water in here i'm going to keep it fairly wet because i want to do a few a few different colors in there Nice line. Let's keep this wet. Let's get that neutral tint. Let's just put a little extra in there. Move it around. This is where my patient starts drawing thin is I don't like waiting for stuff to dry. But you kind of have to. So, hot air done loud
All right. That is dry. So I'm going to do Let's do the what should we call it next? What is it? The tent. The tent. Let's do the tent. I'm gonna really water down. It's Van Dyke Brown. Trying to keep it kind of soft, right up to that edge there. I am by no means an expert at watercoloring or any of this, so please take everything I say and do with a grain of salt. up a little bit. Please don't jump on my chair. Thank you, kitty kitty. All right, heat gun again. Oh, that's not very straight, Melissa. Let's try to get a crisp line. There we go. There we go. All right. And now I kind of want to do into that little triangle area. So I'm going to take a bit heavier mix. I'm going to grab my four. I'm going to go over that again. You can. gave us a little bit of depth. Cool, cool, cool. So now the bottom area here, I'm going to do that nice Van Dyke green. Really nice. almost a minty green when it's this diluted. Pretend there's a hill back there or something. Try to keep our edges wet as we move. Grab a little bit of, just for a grassy type feel, a little extra darker spots. I'm going to rinse that. I'm going to grab my little two, grab a little neutral tint. Just as a shadow. Oh, 
Alright. Sorry if you can hear my washer. I need a new one so bad. <laughs> he gone. I'm going to take the four, I'm going to take my Van Dyke Brown, pretty, pretty heavy concentration. And because I can't go up very well, I tend to like to come down, I'm going to do that. So for some tree trunks. And as I come up, I'm lifting my brush off, so I'm just getting that very, very tip. No, don't climb on my back. I swear, these cats, if I'm doing something like this, they have got to be on me. This is going to dry pretty quick, but I am going to hit it with the heat gun real quick. I'm going to go in again with a little more concentration, a little size 2, higher concentration of that Van Dyke Brown, just down here at the bottoms. How am I going to do? I guess I'm not going to have any sky wash, I suppose. But I may have done this too soon. Oh well. Say lovey. So now I'm going to get my two. A nice heavy concentration of that Van Dyke Green and let's see this is going to be the forefront this is going to be the back so let's a neutral tint back in here I'm just working my way up this tree. Just gonna do the same thing for the others and dry this. more neutral tint just to pop that back a little bit. Heat gun. <laughs> I 
I need to work on like order of when to put stuff down. I don't think I've got that down right. I think I need to work on that. Because now my trees are kind of merged. I don't have I don't have a sky in the background. So quick few things. I'm gonna go and take my Micron 005. I'm just gonna rough sketch the outline here of my tent. A little bit of grasses here and there. The bad part about the microns is I tend... See that itty bitty little tip? I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I get it up here. Let's turn on autofocus. See that? Oh, come on. No, nope, not going to do it. Oh, well. So there's an itty bitty tip in the, in the bottom right here. And it pushes in on me or maybe I wear it out or something. I don't know. Put some little grasses over here. I don't know what I was doing there. Oh well. So this is my turn off auto focus. So this is my little campground sketch. Not awesome, but it's a start. I have an idea in my head and I'm just not able to like paper it. I'll get there. But thanks for joining me. If you like these kinds of videos, let me know and I'll try to keep up with them. Um, go ahead and give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.